Hi guys, Brooke from Snuggly Fox Designs here. Today we're going to be learning how to make this cute little pumpkin using the bobble stitch and with the stem and also the little curly cue. Okay, let's get started. So to start out, we're going to take um, any color yarn you want and a size H hook and we're going to make a slip knot. Now the pattern for um, this size pumpkin says to chain 31. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it um, in 10 for the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and chain 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now we're going to single crochet uh, in the second chain or the second back bump whoops, from the hook. And if you need a tutorial on how to crochet in the back bump, um, I'll drop a link below for that too. But basically you just um, pick that bump behind the stitch and you single crochet in it. So we're going to single crochet in each of these stitches and that will give us 10 stitches. Now you can adjust this pattern um, to do however many starting chains you want. Uh, just have it be an even number and it'll work out the same. Alright, so we have our first row done. Now we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch. And now here's where we're going to do our bobble next in this next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. And you're going to do that again. So that's two times that you did it, three and four. So you're only pulling through two loops. So you should have one, two, three, four, five loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now the next step is you're going to do two single crochets and then you're going to do another bobble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and you do that three more times till you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. Insert your hook into the next two stitches and do two single crochets. Then we're going to do um, your bobble stitch again till you have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through and then you end with two single crochets. So now this next row you're going to just do a single crochet in each stitch across each one. So make sure you still have ten. So that's one, two, make sure you get the top of your bobble, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing the next bobbles in between the stitches. So you're going to um, do a chain one. You're going to do two single crochets to start out with. So the other row started with one single crochet. This one starts with two. So two single crochets, then your bobble stitch. And you just keep going until you have five loops in your hook. You're going to pull through all five. Then two single crochet. We always have two single crochets in between each bobble just to space it out a little bit more. And then two single crochets next. Now you're going to end with a bobble and one single crochet at the end. Okay, so now you have your off-centered stitches there. So to finish off the sequence, we do a chain one and turn and single crochet in each stitch across again. So you'll still have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in the original pattern, um, you're going to be having 30 at each row because um, it's making a bigger pumpkin. But for this tutorial, I only did 10. Um, so you're going to continue to do this until your desired length. Um, in the original pattern, it's to, um, it's 18 rows of it. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll meet back here in a minute. So when you're done um, making all of your rows of bobble stitches, you just cut your yarn off. And we're going to start by sewing this part together first. So you just weave your needle in and out here. 
and then you're going to pull it super tight and um, it's going to create the bottom of your pumpkin or the top it doesn't matter whichever one you think looks nice in the end so then um, you grab this side and this side together so that together and you can weave this tail in or tuck it in whatever you think you pull it tight and then um, put a couple stitches in this part right here to keep it secure otherwise it'll come undone um, so once you have your stitches in here then you're gonna sew up this side right here and again I'm making a mini version um, just for the tutorial the pumpkin in the written pattern is gonna turn out bigger than this so you just sew up the back part. Now the back part, you're not weaving it in. You're literally sewing the two sides together because this part doesn't really need to scrunch down. It's just the top part and the bottom part that we're scrunching together. Okay, so once you're at that part, you're going to stuff your little pumpkin here. However full you want it. It doesn't need to be too terribly full. Just like that and then you're going to do the same thing as you did with the bottom part you're going to weave in and out of these stitches and then um, pull tight and then sew it so the top in place to secure it so you just keep going around almost there okay then you pull it tight Just like that. Now you're going to sew top a little bit to secure it. Now from this point, um, we are going to basically like squish it together. So you insert your needle into the top part and pull it through the bottom and pull super, super tight. And this is why we need to have an extra long tail too, because um, we have a few more steps to doing it. So just keep doing it a couple more times putting your hook through the top and the bottom. And once you feel like you have a good pinch together, um, then we're going to be putting it up the side and through the middle. I probably didn't leave myself a long enough tail. Whoops, that didn't go through the middle. That went straight through the side. Trying to get it to go through the middle. There we go. Now this part doesn't have to be super accurate. Put that up through the side and down just to kind of get the side ridges of the pumpkin then this side and down Ooh, i'm running out of yarn here i don't think i have enough for one more anyways then you would do the other side and go down that way let me cut another piece of yarn here and we'll sew in our tails later Um, so just stick it back through the bottom here and bring it out the top just that your two tails are there and you're gonna have a stem right here anyway so you really can just tie a knot and you wouldn't even have to weave in the ends um, okay so we did one on either one of those sides and we were missing this one so put that through the side down the bottom here pull super tight all right so there's your little pumpkin now we're going to um, just tie it off and weave in ends from here and then we'll add our stem. So for the stem we're going to start um, with our brown and we actually changed to an E hook. So we're going to make our uh, magic circle here and I can post a link below for that for a tutorial. Chain one and we're going to put eight single crochet in the magic circle. So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight and pull it tight now we're going to do um two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and you do that all the way around so that was two stitches that you did this is your third stitch with two single crochet 
fourth stitch with one, five, six, seven, you can also do use a stitch marker too, eight. Now, um, obviously your hole is coming undone. So what I do is I tie a knot. This is gonna be like inside the stem anyway, so you're not even gonna see it. Um, I do it this way when I'm making a hat too, and if I am making a hat, I will weave in the ends. Um, but if I'm not, if I'm making like an ami or something, then I just snip it off because it's going to be hidden inside anyways. All right, so then you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch around then. So you're going to have 12 now. So one, two, oh, my yarn is getting snagged. Oh, well, I'll keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, almost, there you go, and 12. All right, so then you just keep doing this around until the stem is the desired length. And before you sew it on, um, you're gonna stuff it, and then you sew it on into place. So we added our stem here, and the last thing that we need is our curly cue. So for this mini one, I have the e-hook again. For the other one in the written pattern, I used the h-hook but um, we're just gonna chain, or make our slip knot here, and we're gonna chain 11. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. And we're gonna place three single crochet in the back bump of each stitch across. And um, placing multiple stitches in the same stitch is what makes it curl. So you could actually do half double crochets or double crochets in these stitches, whatever you want. Um, and three or four of them, it makes it curl, you know, more or less. But I'm just doing three for this one. So three single crochets in the back bump of each stitch across. Okay, and when you get to the end, you can just do one single crochet to end it. And then you're going to tie it off, leave a little bit of a tail so that you can sew it on. And what I do is I just pull both through, and then I make a knot with this. And then I weave this end in, because you're gonna sew with the other, sew it onto the pumpkin with the other end. And you can sew it to either side of the stem that you want doesn't matter. So once you sew on your curly cue, then you're all done. And the video today was for this little size pumpkin and the written pattern is for this bigger pumpkin. So if you wanna make both pumpkins, you can find the bigger pumpkin on my blog and the little pumpkin is here in this tutorial. All right, hope you guys enjoyed, thanks.